Welcome to Art for Kids Sunday. Today we're going to learn how to draw some of the most iconic bosses from the popular game Cuphead using simple shapes. I have provided a list of the things that you will need in the description below. First up we have Ollie Bulb. So start off by drawing a circle for his head. I'm going to put him up here. And I'm just using a simple mechanical pencil to, to do my sketch. So we want a circle here. Okay, that's about good. Now what we're going to do is put a triangle on the top of his head. So about... Maybe like that. Like that will be good. And this is going to form the shape of Mr. Ollie Bulb here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this circle and the triangle together. So what you'll do is you'll take this and you'll kind of curve it into your circle. Like that on that side. And the same thing on that side. All right, and now we've got our basic shape of Mr. Ollie Bulb. You can go in with an eraser if you'd like to kind of clean up some of that s sketches that we don't need, the pencil marks. So now you can see what you got. So all that basically was is a circle and a triangle. So it's you can draw just about anything that you can imagine using simple shapes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in his eyes and they're going to be oval shapes. And I'm going to do one about right here and then another one about right there. So I think that's good. All right, next let's do his nose. So his nose is going to be an oval also. That's going to go about right there under the eyes. And then for his cheeks, you're going to do half circles. And you're going to touch the nose. So you're going to start over here. And you're just going to do kind of a half moon or half circle. Same thing on this side. All right, so there is his cheeks. Now for his mouth, uh, what you can do is you can draw a circle. For his mouth and what we're going to do is we're going to use the top portion the circle only so what we're going to do is kind of draw a line over there we're going to follow that circle just like that and then we can take off this bottom part and that right there is going to be his mouth so let's do his arms next his arms are going to come up uh starting about around over here and we're going to come up like this and it's kind of, in a way, the bottom of a circle again. And then we're going to put his hands in. Um, it's a cartoon, so we don't want to do really realistic hands. We just put in some fingers there. And I think that's good enough. And the same thing on this side. We're going to go uh, make the half circle again. like that and another hand and this is just our sketch so we can fix all this later on if we want to make it look a little bit better so we're just putting proportions now so where his eyes he got some droopy eyelids so let's do kind of a curved line on the bottom right there and then on the top too curve line like that and then his pupils eyeball is going to go over here he's going to be looking to the right that's good and then the teeth just draw some straight lines to signify his teeth and his eyebrows are going to be kind of frowning eyebrows like that now at the very top we're going to do his little onion stalks 
I just do about three of them, I guess would be good enough. And then we're going to do the lines of the onion. So we're going to start up here, and we're just going to follow the curve all the way to the bottom. And do the same thing on the other side. Good. And same thing over here. And over there. And we don't want one coming down the middle because it's going to distract from his face. But we are going to do one and come down to about right there. So it's not going to cover up his face. And then we'll continue that so it kind of gives your brain a connection that that's really there, but it doesn't cover up his eyes. So that is our sketch of Ollie Bulb. Let's get to coloring him. I've got some colored pencils here. Um, this is a kind of a light, milky coffee color. So we're going to color him all in this color right here. You can use a brown or a light brown. Anything is fine. So just going to put in the pencil colors. I'm gonna, probably going to speed this up. Okay, so that looks good. Next, let's do a green. I got kind of a lime green here. I'm going to color in the little onion stalks here on top. All right, that's pretty quick. And his nose is going to be this light purple color here. Okay, I think that looks good. You know, one thing I forgot was his little droopy eyelids. They're the same color as the onion. I didn't color the eyeballs because I want to keep them white. Okay, I didn't color his teeth either. We want to keep those white too. All right, uh, let's see. What can we do now? Let's go ahead and start adding in our black color. And what I've got is a click art, zebra click art, black marker pen. You can use any marker pen, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to go on our outline here. So just trace that shape that you had. Of the little onion. Okay, we got that part in. Let's do the little eyebrows here. Let's do the ovals of the eyes. And his iris, we can go ahead and put that in. There we go, and a nose. And the cheeks. Okay, let's go ahead and get his arms in. Okay, and let's do his mouth, and then put the lines in for his teeth. All right, and then we can put in these thin lines.
All right, let's do some red on his cheeks. Give him some rosy cheeks. Okay, and then I've got a darker brown. And we're just going to kind of darken up this outside part. I'm going to leave that one light. We're going to do, actually, we're going to do half of this one in a brown. And just to give it a little bit more detail. Okay, we're going to leave his face all that one color. And then maybe we'll do this far one over here. A different, darker, a little bit darker brown. Kind of sew a shadow or something. Looks like a shadow in there. Maybe come across the bottom here. All right, I think that's going to do it. Now what you can do, finally, is just erase all of your sketch lines. And there you have it, Ollie Bulb. All right, let's do another one. Uh, let's do Goopy. Goopy Legrand. Let's do him next. So Goopy's going to be really easy compared to Ollie was. So Goopy, we're going to just start out with, again with a circle. Just a big circle like that. And then he's going to have like a little, little top thing. Kind of looks like one of the slimes from Dragon Quest. All right. And what we want to do is for his eyes, we're going to do some half circles again. So we're going to put one eye. And he's going to have a little bit bigger eyes than uh, the onion guy here. So about like that. And then we'll do another one over here like that. And then for the bottom part, we're just going to do a line like that. And then one like that. Okay. He's going to be looking to the left. Like that. His nose is kind of small, oval. So again, we're just doing these simple shapes here. Uh, his mouth is going to be another simple shape. It's going to be the bottom of a circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to start probably about right here. And we're just going to make a bottom of a circle. Just like if you was to make a full circle, if it was to come way up here, that would be the bottom portion of the circle. Okay, and then we're going to connect... With a curve line, it's going to look like a little half moon here. So that's going to be his mouth. Now, uh, I want to make him a little cheek here where he's going to have his mouth come out. So just do a little oval like this. Just kind of like that. That's fine. And it's going to be kind of connected to this bottom of the eye. All right. And could put a couple of wrinkles under there. Maybe a couple of wrinkles over here. So let's get his eyebrows in. So his eyebrows. are going to come up and over like that. So he's kind of angry. So one's going to go like that. And then the other one. Is going to. Come up like that. So you can just keep working on them. Until you get them however you like them. So that's good for me. And do another curve line here at the bottom to signify the bottom of his teeth. And then do some vertical lines there. So the bottom part here is just going to be the inside of his mouth. And then that part right there, we're going to take that off. It's going to give him his little cheek there. And I, that's that's basically him. So what we're going to do now is we're going to color him in, I got a blue color here. It's not a bright, like a 
regular blue blue it's more of a kind of a periwinkle color so a lighter color of blue so again I'm gonna speed it up on this one to color in the shapes remember don't color in the teeth or the eyes or the eyebrow so just do the circle shape here in blue Okay, we got that done. Now let's do just a pure red for his nose. And then for the bottom of his mouth here is going to be red also. Hey, that's fine. And his eyebrows is going to be the... Uh, I think we're going to go with a darker brown. I was debating whether to do that same color as we did the, the onion color. But I think his eyebrows need to be a little bit darker. Alright, and I think... That's going to be all the colors we need. We're just going to go ahead and do the the inking part now. Outline his nose there. Color in that black eye. And the same thing over here. Okay, let's outline these eyebrows. Okay. All right, I think that did it. It was do these little lines that we had put. And I think that's gonna do it now. But anyway, that is it. There you have it, two of the iconic Cuphead bosses that you can draw at home. I want to thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more Art for Kids Sunday videos. Take care, and I'll see you next Sunday.